what I'm not going to do today, and I hope this doesn't disappoint you, is I'm not going to stand here until 8 o'clock and just give you loads of drills. Okay? And there's a very simple reason for that, because drills are easy. Anybody can go on YouTube and find any drill they want and copy it. You don't have to be a coach to do that. In the same way that you can go to YouTube and you can find a recipe for any food you want to make, and you can just follow instructions and you do it. You don't have to be a chef. So what's the difference between a drill and coaching? You, the coach, are the, the architect. You are the ones who are in charge of the climate and the environment which you are creating on the course. So, of course, I'm going to show you lots of ideas and different things that I hope you can take away, but I'm not going to show you 50 drills, right? I'm not going to say, right, this is drill number one, you do this, bang, bang, bang. Okay, drill number two, bang, bang, bang. Drill number 49, bang, bang, bang. It's not going to be like that, because that's not what coaching is. Not what coaching is. Coaching is about taking the players who are in front of you and working with them on what they need, okay? And of course, every child, every junior, every adult has different needs. And so when we're talking about group coaching, which is what we're gonna be doing today, not individuals, but group coaching, it's quite possible that if you have eight players in your group, you have eight individual sets of needs. And group coaching, is much more difficult and much more complex than individual coaching because you have to work with the individual needs and the individual abilities of the players. So for example, if you have a group of eight adults, let's say, and they are all beginners, they are not all beginners in exactly the same way. Okay? One of the beginners is quite fat and he doesn't run so much. Another one has a bad leg and he doesn't run so much. Another one has a forehand but he cannot play a backhand. Another one can play forehands and backhands but he finds it difficult with the serve. Okay, this is the reality. Another one who doesn't really want to listen and just wants to hit the ball hard every time. This is the reality of group coaching. And so what you have to be able to do is to create a learning environment for your players.